Oh yeah, hi there. So today we're going to be talking about this syntax right here, slot let name equal value. And what this does is let you pass values back to the parent from the slot. So that is just kind of confusing. And I'm just going to jump in and kind of show you to help you understand. So here I have a super list. And this is what this is usually used for. It's usually for some kind of list component or grid component. So here I have a super list. We've got styles on the list itself. And then we've got styles on each item, which I haven't used yet. So that's why it's complaining. Um, so let's get started. We're going to pass the items in to the list. Now, usually here, this is where a slot would go. You would type something inside of your component, and there would be a slot right here, slot like that, and that will capture whatever is being put inside. So, but now let's say we want to use a slot for each item in the list. Okay, so we're going to each items as item. So we're going to loop through all of the items like that. And we're going to put a slot there. So here, the slot is being repeated four times, and it's just doing hey, hey, hey. So it's taking whatever is inside Superlist and putting out there or five times hey, hey, hey. So let's say, though, we want to be able to see the items. That would be nice, right? So here in the slot, we can pass the item, just like a normal component. So we're going to pass this item into the slot. So item goes into the slot as item, and it's going to come out here. So you might be able to use item, but no, you're going to need to add this let item right here. And there we go. So now you can use, so it's kind of weird because this item isn't actually defined here. I mean, I guess it's defined here now, but um, you can now use it inside this slot. So it's a few steps, but items is getting passed into super list, and then it's iterating over them, and then item is being passed into slot, and then slot is right here using it there. So it's like a few steps to get this item out here. But what that lets you do is then whenever you use a super list, so let's say I wanted to make another one, I can now do anything I want for each item inside here. So maybe maybe I want to define um, an index also. Let index and item comma index, and then we'll pass in index here. And let me add in this item styling. Class equals item, and put that around the slot. Okay, so now they're all in there, and this is just kind of the basic uh, super list how it will look for any super list. So green here, orange here, and a scroll thing there like that. But here now I can do whatever I want inside. So here I have let index. Um, I could also put it there, but maybe I want to add an index like this and add a dot and a space. And now I have those, or index plus one. Um, and then let's say up here, rather than this, maybe I want to put them in another box. So you know, you can do whatever you want. You can pass. This will be inside each item. So I could put a div um, and then add my own styles. Style equals color red. OK, and now they're all red. So because this div is being passed into each item. And so probably I wouldn't want to even define this item right here. I would just let the user define it themselves. But this lets the user then, whenever they use your super list, they can put inside the super list whatever they want in each component or in each item of the list or grid or whatever. OK, so that's kind of how it works. Uh, just to recap, whenever you want to use this and why you want to use this is if you have a list or some grid or something, where you pass in a bunch of items, you get those items here, you iterate over them, you do for loop or something in each loop, and then you have this slot where you pass something from each item back into the slot. And then you want to get that value here and do whatever you want with it. So this slot then becomes not the super list slot, but the slot for each item in the list, OK, because you're iterating over them. Okay, I hope that made sense. Uh, it can be a bit confusing. Let me know if you have any questions, and bye.